Hey, how are you doing, everybody? Having a good day? Last Outrider here with another Data Slate Formation video for you. This time, we're going to be talking about the Reclusium Command Squad. But first, I've gotten a lot of questions about formations. And I wanted to take a little extra time to explain how formations work in 40K, because many people haven't used them. Formations are a collection of units. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to read it. Uh, a formation re represents a collection of two or more units that fight alongside one another in a particular way. When you choose an army, you can take a formation as a special form of detachment, unless otherwise stated. You can take any number of formations in your army, and each is considered to be a completely separate detachment, regardless of how many units it makes up. Okay? Uh, each formation will tell you what units it needs to take and what, if any, options or restrictions apply to the units that make up that formation. The army list entries for each unit in the formation, i.e. the unit profiles, points, units, values, and unit compositions, special rules, blah, 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 can either be found in the codex corresponding with the faction or on the data sheet or elsewhere in the data slate itself. Now, most people understand that, meaning you can take more than one formation and that they don't take up slots on your force allocation chart. Here's the part, at least when I've played the game, that really freaks people out. Formations have the same limitation as allies as any other allies. What does that mean? In fact, I'm just going to read it to you so that we can get rid of the confusion. Formations do not count as your army's allied detachment, even if they are made up of units from a different codex to your primary detachment. If they do not stop you from taking an allied detachment in the same army. So that means uh, Tyranids are only going to be taking Tyranid formations. But, well, they give their own example so people won't argue with me. For example, if you include an Orc formation, such as uh, Glasgow's uh, Command Council or War Council, which is an awesome formation, in the same army as a primary detachment from, say, Codex Space Marines, then the units from the two detachments would treat each other as desperate allies. However, the Orc Formation would not stop you from taking an allied detachment in the same army. Okay? So, formations are their own thing. As long as your army can ally at some level with the uh, codex from which the formation is taken from, you can take it and it doesn't count as an ally attachment. Which means you can still take another ally. They are awesome, people. Trust me, if you're not using formations, I don't know what you're doing. So now, on to the good part, you're saying. Let's find out about this reclusium. All right, all right, I'm going there, I'm going there. Here we go. Badam! First, uh, I'm going to skip the fluff this time because I gave you that one. Or at least I'll put the fluff at the end, so if you like a longer video, you can listen to it there. A, a, a Space Marine Reclusium Command Squad Formation consists of the following units from Codex Space Marines. One chaplain, one command squad. That's simple. You can do whatever you want with the chaplain and the command squad for in terms of upgrades and what's in it and even independent characters. You know, like Ezekiel for the Dark Angels. That's a chaplain. He can be the chaplain in this formation. Uh, the command squad could have uh, whatever they want for the HQ or independent characters that go into a command squad. Not a problem. Just as long as it's a command squad. 
Now, what are the restrictions in this? The command squad must be given a Razorback as a dedicated transport. Well, there you go. Finally, in the history of 40K, we have a purpose for a Razorback. Um, the command squad must include a company champion and an apothecary. And one model must carry a company standard. In addition to this, you must pay 25 points for this formation. That means on top of all the other points you will spend for all of the other models that you get, or upgrades in war gear, you add 25 points to all of that as the cost of this formation. Okay, so what do I get in return? Oh, that's the juicy part. In return for meeting all of these requirements, all the units, well, the chaplain and the command squad will get Crusader special rule applied to them. They will also get Relentless Zeal. What the fuck is that? Well, that means that while the chaplain is alive, all models in this formation can re-roll misses in every round of close combat. Is that insane or what? And it's a relatively cheap thing. I mean, it's, it's a chaplain and, and a command squad and a Razorback. It's brilliant. Um, <laughs> so now we were going to go back and talk about the fluff. I, it's just a great, great, great command. Oh, here we go. Um, here we are. The Reclusium Command Squad is mustered in times of dire need. It is formed when the finest warriors within a space marine company, the Command Squad, grant their protection to a chaplain. In this way, a Command Squad becomes a Reclusium Command Squad, a defiant rallying point and an inspiration to their battle brothers. A chaplain's guardians is in, in a reclusium command squad include some of the most experienced veterans in a company. When these warriors protect the chaplain, they are known as reclusiaries. They form up around the chaplain, shielding him with their own flesh so that he might be free to inspire their brothers to greater deeds with his fighting and oratory. The command, the reclusium command squad can be used to devastating effect. As with the chaplain in their midst, all space marines around him fight with more passion and savagery than ever before. Indeed, the Reclusium Command Squad is more than a mere symbol of the true spiritual power of the Adeptus Astarte. Its presence pushes the full fury of the Space Marines to even greater heights. The Reclusiaries are warriors of distinction, each one a veteran of countless wars. When alongside their chaplain, they gain an exempl they exemplify their chapter's true essence, which can occasionally become an obstacle as well as a boon. For example, the command squad of a Raven Guard are composed of the very best of a company has to offer with regards to covert warfare. When their reclusium command squad heads to war, their reclusiaries make the most of their elusive tactics to better protect the spiritual heart of their company. Even going so far as to keep their plans secret from the rest of the company. Such behaviors can make it difficult for their battle brothers to plan their tactics accordingly. But the reclusiaries deem the protection of their charge to be of the utmost importance. And now a quote. A battle brother earns many honors, but there are few more prized than the assignment to a reclusiarium. A chapter cannot thrive if a foe tears out its heart. Captain Sicarius of the Ultramarine. 
Bam! That is a reclusive.